YouTube and welcome back to uh, Digital Health Days live from Stockholm. Today we have a, right now a very special guest who is going to tell us about a very, very interesting concept. Could you tell the, the <laughs> audience about that? Yes, um, so my name is Christina Höck, or Christina Hook is also fine. Uh, I work... Uh, Very difficult to pronounce many yes. names. <laughs> yes, I know, so, so Professor Hook is fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I work as a, as a leader of a center called the Mobile Life Center, and in the center we have a project on something we call Soma Aesthetics, the aesthetics of the body, the Soma. Mm. So it's based on theories of aesthetics and pleasure and, and movement that extends on your repertoire of, of what you can do with your body and with your thinking. And so we've been building a range of different prototypes. So one of the prototypes is a carpet that you lay on. Uh, and as you're laying on this carpet, you're getting instructions uh, on uh, relaxation, ways of breathing, ways of focusing on different muscles or different parts of your body. And the carpet is giving feedback <laughs> through heat. So uh, if, the, if the system says you should now focus on your left calf, for example, then there's heat under your left calf that makes you even more focused on the experience of, of, of that. Um, when it comes to your breathing, you learn about different ways of breathing. It might be that you deep, breathe really deep into your lungs or, or more shallow breathing. And so we have a sensor that picks up on your breathing and reinforces, reinforces it through changing the light, uh, different colors and different pacing of the light and the intensity of the light. So together with the heat feedback and this light thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get into a very strong and interesting learning experience where you learn more about yourself and your own body. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you tested that on real people? Yes. Uh, and yeah. um, what were their reactions towards using the so we recently started testing it and we've only done a few studies so far and, and people find it very, very interesting. Uh, it's based on something called Feltenkrais exercises and, and those are very slow movements of super, super interesting, I think, to engage in. Uh, and some of our users really enjoy that and they enjoy the feedback they get from the system. But we're going to do a bigger study during the autumn with IKEA. Um, spending three months uh, making people in IKEA come and test it because it, they also do a lot of design of furniture and homes and mm -hmm. so on based on your bodily movements and your ways of understanding uh, movement. And so they find this a super interesting uh, way of, of getting into that kind of experience for designing. I want to get back a bit to the idea itself. How did you come up with this idea? <laughs> so there has been this movement towards more and more technology that gets closer and closer to the body. So we have some technologies like you're wearing one now, the microphone, yes. close to your body. Yeah. You're also wearing glasses very mm. close to your body. Uh, I can see a lot of other stuff here. Yeah. Lots of technology on your body. And it's getting to be more and more. And so we've been designing with that for a long time. And I've been really worried about it because some of this technology infringes on your on yourself and your understanding of yourself or they will always change your understanding of yourself and so i was looking for theories that would help us to design in a good way in a way where we don't take away the power from the end user but where the end user is actively choosing to interact with these things that you have on your body or near your body uh, and that's where the somesthetic theory was interesting to mm -hmm. me because it's really very much about yourself, learning about yourself, increasing your self-awareness and your mastery of yourself and doing it playfully and with aesthetics and fun. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, I've, I've seen some, uh, some parts of your presentation. It was really, really cool to see. It's really fun and relaxed. Uh, will, there be, will there be more applications to that apart from just uh, using a mattress? Yeah, so we built a, a bunch of other uh, apps or, or applications of, of different kinds, looking at different feedback. Um, but I think more generally, it is a very interesting way of doing design in general when you're designing with the body because the body is not as fast as some of our more intellectual thinking, you know, some of our body movements have to be a bit slower for us to understand and interact with them. And so engaging in some aesthetic practices as a way of doing design, figuring out how to do design, I think that's a super interesting method for many different kinds of system. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your time and uh, hope you enjoy the conference. You've been telling me that this is your first time here. Yes, my first so time. So hope, hopefully it will not be the last time. You'll be coming more and more. Thank thanks you. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you.